inside the Casino Rabbit Grill Room. Gareth Wheeler with you alongside, everyone knows this guy, Steve Buffery from Sun Media. Been on the show about 400 times over the last three, four years. The program has been in existence. But I wanted to talk about the entire decade, if you can remember back that far, Steve. The memory? Oh, how many? Is it okay? Is it okay? I can go way back. <laughs> what <laughs> sticks out in your mind above all else this decade, Steve? Well, with me, it's what makes me angriest. Which, you know, and my, my thing is, you know, I remember near the start of the decade, when they hired J.P. Ricciardi and this so-called newfound optimism about the Blue Jays. As a longtime Blue Jays fan, I'm the first to admit that. I was, you know, like all these other saps, I figured, yeah, good times are ahead, finally. And, you know, seven, eight years later, nothing. And here we are starting all over again. And my thing is, this organization owes its fans an apology. And more than that, it's got to come up with not just an apology, but a uh, Another way to show them that they're serious, and not just that we're going to draft well because we've got a new young GM that nobody knows about, but this is what we're going to do. Okay, we're rebuilding now, next year, the year after that, maybe four years, but this is what we're going to do. We have to compete against the big boys because they'll never bring a salary cap in this game. So well, here's, here's an idea. We're going to put $25 million aside this year for when we're ready to compete. We're going to put $25 million mm -hmm. aside next year. We're going to do that for the next four years. Then we'll have an extra $100 million in the kitty when our draft picks are all coming to fruition. We're ready to sign some free agents. Now we can spend $180 million, compete against Boston, New York. At least that way, they're promising you. We've gone through seven years of BS about mm -hmm. this team is going to be contender. We're starting right from scratch. So this is one way at least showing yeah, the, and that's what it comes down to is the ownership showing their commitment right. towards the team. But put in black but, and white. Uh, but I wonder what the, how the fans feel about this, whether or not they're as angry as you are, Steve, or have they become apathetic, quite frankly? Well, I think it's gone from anger to apathy, which is really, really sad. And you mark my word, I've been talking to a lot of the beat guys that, you know, they were talking, there was a few games last year where they set record lows for attendance. It's going to be even worse this year. And like I said, seven, eight years ago, we all bought into the fact that they're rebuilding. Okay, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. You can no longer do that. We can no longer give this organization the benefit of the doubt unless we see in black and white that they're willing to put money into the kitty for down the road. And I'm not just talking about, okay, we've got our $100 million. That's what we're going to spend. We're going to spend our $100 million with the $80 million we've been spending every year. Sure. So that's at least we can see that on the wall. And you just kind of hope that the organization sticks true to their word, what Alex has been saying in recent weeks, well, and you hope that the fans buy in as well. Exactly. That's my whole idea, Gareth. If they put it in black and white, then they have to, right? Well, a lot of these decade in review pieces have been on the positive side. I'm glad that someone kept it real. I'm using it's positive. Steve Beffery, ladies and gentlemen. Positive Thanks a lot. Good. We'll see you next time.